Bo! Oh no, I think something's happened. I just heard Gaz shout down thing and then it cut off. I don't know. I'm wondering if he got to that corner and something's happened. I'll go and turn round. You stay here. That didn't sound nice at all. Oh, Gaz, better hope you're all right. I feel sick, that didn't sound good at all. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. morning we woke up to here in Fuente D. Oh dear. Still a bit um, shell shocked what we, did, what we did yesterday. So not only did someone reverse into my bike, luckily can't believe there's no damage whatsoever. We ended up off-roading up that dirt track. I was saying to the lads last night, if I'd have known how bad it was, never, obviously never would I have gone up it. But because the, the beginning of it were not that bad at all, I thought, oh, it'll be all right. And then it's just getting gradually worse. Because it's only getting gradually worse, we didn't notice that it was getting gradually worse until we got to the point where we had to stop up there and, and then just turn around and think, oh crap, we've got to go all the way back now. It was, um, it was bad, very, very, very bad. I don't know how well it came across on the video, but um, all of us were genuinely scared. And I thought we're in, I just remember thinking we're in trouble here. It was hard work to get to where we got to and then that bloke on the Land Rover told us to turn around because it just got worse. I really panicked. I didn't say anything to anyone, but I just thought, bikes have already been dropped going up it. Now we've got gravity against us because you're taking a big heavy bike down there on loose gravel. If it starts to slide, it's sliding into it. <sighs> so yeah, it took it took it all out of us when we arrived. And the thing was, the sat nav was taking us. It was only over. I don't know which way we are in terms of geography, but we we're basically over the mountain somewhere near here, the other side of the mountain. And it was only, um, I think we we're only six miles, at the furthest point into the dirt road, we was, I think, I think five miles away from hotel. And, and only like two miles to go on the dirt road. And we'd already done three miles on the dirt road. So, you know, dig deep, dig deep, it's just over there. And then the bloke stopped and said, don't, don't go up there, it's, it's real bad. You'll never do it on, them, on these bikes. We had to turn around and come all the way back down and then do a 50 mile, two hour route home, route, route to here. Instead of just coming like, I had to go. Look. Straight in, two pints, a bit of dinner, and bed. Oh dear me. Not horrible. But, now looking back, I'm very happy 
and glad that we did it because it's put all part of the adventure. You done it? You done it? It's all part of the adventure and um, oh, it's memories. And we'll all be able to look back at it as that time when we went up that frigging mountain. We genuinely thought we we're gonna have to get help. Like Land Rovers are gonna have to chuck, chuck bikes in a trailer and get us down that way. We might even be stuck on mountain for night. <laughs> all because we're trying to do a bit of a shortcut. Oh dear me. Oh well, we got here in the end, didn't we? See what today has in store for a showy. See what today has in store for a showy. See what today has in store for a showy. Right then, see you later. Guys, can you just write me sun visor? Would you like me to polish your head, sir? Yes, please. Thank you, mate. I'm sure it's like. Oh dear. We had to put the bikes through some shit yesterday, didn't we? Testament to what amazing bikes they are. And we depart to yet another garage. Now we're going to need fuel, aren't we, at some point? Are we ready? Adios! Back down to Potes, and this petrol station's down there anyway. Oh, it's nice to get moving. 17 degrees, 20 past 4 um, ETA at the hotel, but obviously petrol stops and stuff. It's going to be a good tea time, 5 half 5 I reckon. 248 miles. What a beautiful morning. Isn't it? Espanama, that's where we just stayed. Very nice place it was too. What a stunning morning. Let's hope all, all surfaces we ride on today are like this. <laughs> this is a nice road itself, isn't it? Nice and sweepy. Look at that in front. Oh, I didn't see that last night, did we? we didn't. Oh. Oh man, look at that. We must remember to do the chains, either when we get to hotel tonight or when we pull up somewhere for a break, where we're having a half an hour break or so, so it's got time to dry. Yeah. Because we've done 900 kilometers now without touching them. I might treat bike to some uh, 98. Not that it makes any difference whatsoever. <laughs> All across America, their fuels, their premium's about 91. Ah, basic's 95, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone, everyone kept saying, oh, your VFR's going to struggle with that crap, USA crappy fuel. Well, they didn't, they didn't do it. Well, no, it, perfect. It, I don't think that's going to make enough, uh, enough difference. It's not as if we're putting four star in. No. Do you remember four star? Yeah, man, yeah. Do you remember two star? No, I don't remember two. That's what we used to have to put in, like, uh, you know, your motorbikes when you were a kid. Yeah. I remember going to the petrol station saying, can I have a pound's worth, please, a two-star? This is a little kid going, like, ten-year-old, going down with a jerry can for <laughs> petrol. You'd never in a million years be able to do that <laughs> you now, would you? Do it now. <laughs> Giving petrol, gasoline to a kid. It just made the bike smell different. You know, like, the, the fumes from exhaust? Yeah. Smell, they're different in America, they're weird. Can't really describe what it smelt like, but it, 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 it we kept saying like early doors. What the hell is that smell? And then we realised it's just because it's this different fuel. Well, bike feels lovely this morning. No, uh, no issues. 
Look behind you, look behind you. Oh no, that's mega, isn't it? I'm looking for I'm looking forward to tonight. Joe Pompolome and I had a walk around town and stuff. Yep. I'm looking forward to that. Everyone's feeling a bit freshly faced, so beers will probably flow well tonight. Yeah, they will. That's the road of all roads up there. See you next time. Our work here in the Picos is almost done. For this year at least. I would love to do a Picos trip every year though. But again, sail to and from, so we ain't got to we ain't got to worry about crunchy miles, we can just enjoy the roads. You, you, like you said on your first one, that you could do like a long weekend here. Yeah. Just come and do it a couple of days and back. If 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 it's like uh, Yeah. It'll be an expensive trip that because your your ferry return would be was three well just about 500 quid yeah but i think also this time of year don't tell me it's just school all of this oh yeah i suppose yeah well folks i am loving this joe rocket oh baby i, I bloody love it oh you still got a load of dust on your chops ain't you look at state at back at panniers shit in hell Sorry, kids. Not even to put you through that. Well, folks, I'm not too sure about these um, metasillas at this stage. I can't make mind up if they're wearing well or not. That front tyre's round now. Oh yeah, it's right. Yeah, it's round now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it is. We were just too knackered last night to appreciate it. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready, Gazza. Go on. Goodbye, Picos. Till the next time. We decided to go against the uh, Satnav's route of the coast and the motorway in favour of some more national park beauty. We're on this stretch for 36 miles, so settle in. Well, N621 is definitely my favourite road, but that N625 as well is also incredible, isn't it? You know where we stopped for the yeah. for the little uh, coffee break yeah, and yeah. truck driver were drinking red wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just pull up for a quick uh, quick break. Yes, I'll have a I'll have a Rioja, please. <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to Pompeii. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stuff about it. People always say it's lovely and. Like I say, last time we went to, when we was in Hacker, we were camping next to a bloke and he said, oh, where did you come from? We said, we've come through from the Picos, then to Burgos, and now to Hacker. He's like, oh, you've got to go to Pamplona, it's amazing. Yeah. But we'll see, won't we? Yeah. But I think we're right in the heart of it as well. Good, good. I think I'm right in saying we've got underground parking, but I can't remember. Can't remember for definite. Yeah, just a little walk out, can't we? Find a few bars. Yeah. Yep. I think everybody will be up for a few more beers tonight after yeah. such an exhausting day yesterday and hopefully nowhere near as bad today. <laughs> nowhere near as bad today. Nowhere near as bad today. But I tell you something, you know, we might have been um, scared to death up there last night, but you always have an adventure when it's wild, bad. Always have an adventure. We don't want to be boring. We never want to do boring, straightforward stuff. It was a mistake, yes, but... I'm very glad. It was an education and I'm glad we did it. What do you say, Richard? Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And it's just a shame that your dad lost his bike a couple of times. He, you know. Yeah. He, he's, he's all right now, you know. You can see he's all right now. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's back to himself. He is, you can tell this morning, yeah. second drop, he was, he was broke. Well, he apologised to you, didn't he, at one stage yesterday and uh, yeah. look in your rear view again. Yeah. yeah, well, in, in the thick of it all happening last night, he apologised to you, didn't he, as if to say, like, he'd failed or something, and yeah. you were like, no, don't be stupid, you've just, don't worry about it, just, just, just take a minute, relax, 
and uh, you'll be alright. And that's all it took, just for just to recompose yourself. I, like I said, I said to him with that corner and that, and he was struggling just to stand, and I just went, let me take it, let me take it. You've hurt your ankle, let's not risk another another drop. Yeah. Let me go to somewhere flat, I'll come back, you can take over. Okay, let's yeah. just go go to around that corner. This is beautiful. No wrong with this road. No, no. No, we're on the CA184. P227 is the next road we get onto. This is the CA184 out of Potes. Absolutely beautiful, this. Thank you, Mr. Weatherman. What a lovely road. Yeah. What a nice surprise. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what a road. Shoot up here, aren't we? God, this is amazing road. more miles of this. See ya! Can oh you see my us? God. Give us a wave! <laughs> Is this amazing road or what? What a road! <laughs> I've, been, I've been giving it some right beans up here. I didn't expect this to be up here, folks. What a beautiful surprise this was. Better off roading again. <laughs> My dad's going for that. He's not coming down. He's like, nope, not doing that. Bloody hell. <laughs> How do you like them onions? <laughs> I thought you ain't gonna open get me going on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what's up with Barry? Don't go down there. Anyone would think you'd had a bad experience? Well, we, you are, we're going down there now, yeah. <laughs> wow, how's this? Oh. Proper wow moment, isn't it? Amazing. Amazing.
lads. So, oh, look at this church. Look at that. 22, beautiful, perfect weather. Oh man. Oh, we're going right down through this. You little beauty. I did not expect to be finding this up here. No. What, are the ro what roads though? one of my highlights to be honest so far yeah yeah I know all Picos and that's fantastic it, it is fantastic but I did not expect to be finding this up here so another one of my uh, favorite roads to go to the next time we come to Picos we're now on the CL627 Even after that stop that we've just had, it's still only saying uh, our four destination. That's perfect, isn't it? Well, I yeah. said, we'll probably have another... It, it'll maybe it'll another be R5, stop. I bet it'll be about R5 by the time we're pissed about, you know, fueling and, and what have you. Bit of dinner and... Yeah. I mean, that, there's no wrong with that. End of the day, if it's half six, there's still plenty of time for beers and that. Yeah. I think we will be on motorway at some point because it's it's a lot. Of, we've still got 200 miles to cover, and it's not that long time. So it's uh, we will be on a fast road somewhere. At least the route's given us this beauty to to enjoy. It's a great little view from back here. Just slight bending road. See all bikes. Lovely. Couldn't wish for this to be any better, could we? Look how dried up all that is. Wow.
shit! Red! Red! I just heard Gaz shout down finger, then it cut off. I don't know. I'm wondering if he got to that corner and something's happened. Red! <laughs> You all right? <laughs> Fuck, that's fucked. Oh, shit. Right. I'll go and turn round. You stay here. That didn't sound nice at all. Oh, guys, by the way, I hope you're all right. I feel sick, that didn't sound good at all. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Are you alright, Baz? I just heard you shouting thingy, then it cut off. Are you alright, pal? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Gracias. Shit. Um. Shit. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. So I'll go and get um, my dad and Jim. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Barry's just lost his confidence, hasn't he? I knew, I knew that's what had happened. I knew it. Barry's had a smash right on that corner. He's come off at road. He's in yeah. bikes. He smashed his bike to bits. Barry. He's all right, but you know that bad corner where there's a big drop? He's gone straight off at drop. Just wait for a sec. Go on, Dad. You right, Jim? Thank you. You right, guys? You right? Yeah, it's a bit flatter there, isn't it? Yeah. And it is here. Yeah, yeah, you reckon that? 
Right, you, you, uh, well, I'm, I'm we won't do anything, Dad. I'm, I'm alright for the second day, yeah. Right, if I, uh, there's no way I can do this if I'm sitting on it, so. No, I need to be the way it's going to be this way, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, I reckon we should drive. Right, hang on. Dad, you carefully back. Oh, oh, don't put it too far upside down. Oh, okay. Right, bit more. Right, I can get through the back now. I'm on. Right, okay, fine. Right, ready, go on. Front wheels up. Wait, 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 wait. Well, you got to go. Ready to go. Straight over. Straight over the side of the road. Strap back together. You get the other half of it. See if we can strap that together. I mean, fix it together with bungee shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. I think one's gone. Yeah, no. Right. Yeah. One's what? One's okay. Sorry? Can't we strap it back on? Might be able to strap it to mine or something like that. I reckon it'll polish it out. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, you're safe and that's the only thing that matters. Don't matter about bike, does it? Nope. Don't be embarrassed, Jesus. Why? That's, well, why? I came into that corner, it wrong. Why, why not be embarrassed? And it's only, well, it could happen to any one of us. I, and it's I, only I, cosmetic I damage. That, it's more likely going to happen to it. I'm, I know I'm least experienced here, even though I've had bikes on and off for years, right? but I haven't done enough riding on them. But I thought, I thought everything was going smooth. Yeah. yeah. So it's only cosmetic work, right so it's this just caught me out big time. Do you think yeah. it were target fixation? Like you saw you saw it drop? No. I'm no, I, I, I would try I, I would try <laughs> my hardest to, to, to get round. Yeah. But it, it, it just went. Yeah. Well, like I say, when I came around there, so I wasn't going too done, fast, but I went wrong gear. I went too high a gear, so it, it would... It pulled me in. Yeah, it just was, pulled me in, didn't it? I couldn't in. cut this corner here when I saw it, because there were cars coming around. Yeah. Camber's wrong on it. Yeah. Because if I'd have cut corner, I'd have gone straight into the front end of a car. Yeah. No, I've gone to turn mine around. Yeah. Well, you're, you're safe, mate, and that's... Not far at all. Oh, well, we've gone opposite way now, well, total opposite way. Quickest route no, we're, we're carrying on. The bike's right, well, I'm carrying on. Well, <sighs> yeah, there is. It's, it's that's what I mean. It's not. It's not something that Barry's done. It's a. It's a bad corner. Yeah. I came into it at wrong speed, wrong gear. But I got round luckily, and I saw as soon as I come round it, and then I did it see the big drop. Tightened up right at the end, yeah. didn't it? Oh, on camera, I'm directly on. Yeah, I did see the big drop, and uh, and I think if you if you target fixated on that, you're going straight for it. Supposed to cheer me up. I'll, I'll make the wrong shit, 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 shit. So yeah, this corner is uh, a bad corner. Not necessarily fast, really. What we well, saw, none of us were speeding into it. But I came into this corner at the wrong speed. Sorry, the wrong gear. I was too high a gear. And then think, thinking, shit, 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 I need to tighten up, drop down a couple of gears, and also brake which, mid corner, which you should never do. Rick, I'll go around the corner to turn around somewhere. Think so. Okay, be careful. It's too dangerous here to turn around. Yeah, just be careful. <laughs> and, uh, and then I, I did see the um, the drop, and it, it's target fixation. You look at that drop, and that's you're right, Dad. Target fixation. So you see you see that big drop, and that's where you go. 
And that's exactly what happened. So we've come around here, obviously wrong gear, and then you see this big drop. And unfortunately, that's where he's ended up. Down there. Gracias. And look, as you can see, there's other bits of other bikes down here as well. So it's not only caught Barry out, it's caught other people out as well. We could stick it back together with bits of pan-European. Well, there's his screen. Bloody hell. End of the day. He is unhurt. So. Oh, that's not Barry's screen. No, that's not Barry's screen. It's too black. Too uh, shit up. Realise it's not safe me standing down there, is it? Another bike comes round too, too fast. End up really skittling me down there. Oh <sighs> yeah. I know exactly what happened once gas shouted down, Mike. I'm gonna turn off for a bit, folks, and uh, try and figure out the next plan of action. At the moment, it's a bit up in the air. I'll be back soon. On the right size to you for this, you country, for this, for here, yeah. Yeah, oh no, I'd find eyes, yeah. It's the same as got the uh, the tree up there, the deals gap, yeah. <laughs> you got your phone, your wallet, I got my phone, passport. I want my wallet in my coat. Yeah, there we go, there we go. There you go. That's all good good at easy now. Oh, hang on, someone else is trapped. Don't mention anything about this to anybody while we're here. Wait till we get home. Because that will shit everyone, won't it? Oh dear. That's not what I wanted to have to deal with. Well, we've pulled his bike back together, fashioned his mirrors back on a bit. Be careful, Jim. If you turn round, go and wait on that straight bit of road. Oh, hang on. Come on, Jim. You're right, mate. Okay. He says he feels all right, so that's the main thing. Just everyone, yeah, everyone just relax and it's going to be windy for him, that though, no screen, is it? Oh. That is horrible to see. Mate, dad, anybody. That, uh, that wasn't nice to watch. I think, uh, well, we're Pamplona tonight, and then we were going to go down Pyrenees, but that's going down the Pyrenees to come back up the Pyrenees to go to head home, so I just think from Pamplona we slowly head home. What do you think? I think you're right. As much as I don't want to, I think you're right. Yeah. I said I got a bad feeling about this trip, Gazette. He's all right though, that's the main thing. Yeah. He's, he'll be sore later. Especially if it threw him off it. I didn't realise it threw him off front forwards. Does, it, does, everything, does he seem all right? Everything seems yeah, manageable for him. It's manageable. I didn't think that bike could be going anywhere, mate, when I saw it. It'll be interesting to see his confidence now. Well, it'll be shot. I, I know what I'd be like if I'd just done that. Yeah. It, no, it's going to knock you no matter what. It's gonna knock you. We won't, we won't go fast though. There were no speed. No, there. it weren't. Speed weren't the factor at all. The corner came. It, it got me because I said to myself on camera, I said, oh, "Wrong gear, wrong gear, bloody hell!" And I had to brake mid corner, which you never do because it stands the bike up. 
I was in like fifth or something and I should have been in third. And, and then I noticed the drop, but luckily I managed to glaze away from the drop and look where I was going. And that's why I, I, were, I went round all right, but he'd have seen corner coming up and, and noticed that drop and it's just target fixation, it happens every single time. Just thank God he's all right. He'll be sore, he'll be sore, guaranteed. We'll see how he is when we have a next stop and uh, see if he's calmed down any. But yeah, when his adrenaline burns off, yeah, he'll step he, he's going to be uh, stiff, real steady. Stiff. Be a fart. I know he's going to beat himself up about it, and there's no yeah. need to. Accidents happen. It's not. He weren't being reckless. He weren't doing out wrong. No, that, that's it. You can't say you're driving like a dick. You're riding no. like a dick. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't. But that's his riding career done, mate. Which is a shame, but. If it, he'll not have confidence in himself, I think no. he'll get rid. I think he'll get rid and stay rid and then be bollocking me for the rest of my life. It's a bloody warm one, folks. Oh man. It's absolutely sweltering. Yeah, all we're doing this afternoon is pushing on straight up to Pamplona on the motorway. A bit crap, a bit boring, but we've got to do it. And we've got another two hours to go, 100 mile. And, uh, and then we're there, so. Hope we can get there in one piece and then just chill out and decide what's happening from this moment forward. So we're gonna have to change, definitely gonna have to change plans. We had planned to go tonight in Pamplona, tomorrow down across the Pyrenees, and then two days to work his way up through France home. But I think now, just because of the circumstances, we're just gonna wake up in Pamplona in the morning and just make our own steady ways, uh, not our own ways make our way home rather than going across you know south uh, southeast down the Pyrenees we're just gonna head, head north just have three easier days rather than two tricky days so, these things happen don't they so well, uh, hopefully there'll be a nice night waiting for us in Pamplona anyway never been to Pamplona so I'm looking forward to it should be all right so we'll check back in on you in a little while
cosa meradas. Right, look at this. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> look at you again, fat belly hanging out. Look at that. Oops, wrong gear. Look at that, guys, everyone. <laughs> you wild bad things about throttling, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it came undone, and, I didn't, and it got low, and then I went to him jump, and it just went boom, and popped up with it. Ah! <laughs> I bet that's quite nice, though, isn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> It's a nice quiet road this is. Yeah. Got this one all the way in and all. land here. That's like somewhere in Arizona. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to have somewhere around my neck in this race. I know you will. <laughs> I did that last year, you know, in Tenerife. I was just, ride, just r riding in my t-shirt. My arms were burnt to crisp. I forgot to put sun cream on my arms. <laughs> I reckon we'll go around again just for a laugh. <laughs> we could do it at least another five times, surely by that time I'll know exactly where we're going. That sounds nice. I did, but... Shit's happened, yeah. As these know, but the people on Facebook right now do not know because we're not telling anybody what's happened. Probably is, but Silver Trace Fair. Silver Trace Fair. Yeah, the restaurant's legendary. Look at that place. That's where I'm I wonder which streets they run down, the balls. Because I know when they do it, they're all hanging out to these balconies, aren't they? Uh, and watching it. What's down here? I don't know. I googled it earlier and it showed you like people, all people hanging out to all these and balls running down and people like on floor where they've been bored. And Great good picture and view on this. Yeah. What? When? What? When? Oh. All the time, Gary. All the time. When you said great good picture of me, I'm like, no, not a good picture of you. I said good picture and view. Oh, I think you said a good picture of me. I'm like, good picture of you. <laughs> There's never one of them. <laughs> well, I think this is lovely. Aren't it you? is. Yeah, I agree, Jim. Well, look, what looks busy. If there's a restaurant that's busy, it's good. Or expensive. <laughs> yeah, let's do it then. Have you got live that? What? Have you got live that? It said so a lot. Right, See, don't, the red button there. Don't touch it then. Let, 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 I'm not touching it. it. Stop shouting at me. <laughs> it says live. Hey, you know, we've got some old angels down here. Chris is off uh, doing the live feeds because we've let everyone down for the last few days. He's struggling, bless him. Oh. Jim Bob. 
It's a very hustle and bustle place, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. We're doing sitting in here for a bit. Yeah, well, I'll. What, a beer in here? Yeah, let's have a beer in here. Well, I'll, I'll think it more like it. Well, this is our show. He's got all gay men looking at him. Because actually, Gary admitted he would camp. Am I right, Rick? You are definitely right, yeah. It's a new page that Gaz has turned. I said I would camp McGregor, I didn't say I would camp. So at the end of uh, our route to uh, Pamplona, we just done a couple of Facebook Live videos and they weren't playing ball. It went out well, but we never got any comments in, so we must do more of these live things, but just figure out how to do them. But yeah, we just sat in the hotel having a few more beers, seeing the night out. I'll be back in one piece. I'll be back in one piece. Alright, I'll speak to you for this week. Yeah, have you seen how tragic? Does anyone see his bank card numbers? That's wrong. I'm glad you're all safe inside. I really worry about it. See, folks, look at this. Even the, 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 obviously, these kind of videos are coming out in real time, so right. we've decided. A, we had a group decision that we wouldn't tell anybody about what's Can happened I just today. Eat Julie, I was against that. Look at him, it's the golden bollock. We decided it wouldn't be beneficial to tell anybody what's happened today because it would only upset people. So we're having to speak to our nearest and dearest and say, yeah, everything's cool. Everything is cool. We're just a little hiccup. We haven't told them about, it, but no, no big deal, is it? We'll tell them when we get home. I'm glad you're all safe. She said, it's never more I'm glad you're all safe. Oh, we are. We are all safe. We are all safe. Yeah. We're having a lovely time and we're all safe. Yeah. That's the black and white, isn't it? We're, we're, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're having a lovely time and we're all safe. Yeah, Simple. Yeah. 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 By, by this year, it's been a few weeks, ups, but we're, we're all right. Yeah. <laughs> Gaz seems to think by the time this video goes to press, that uh, Barry will no longer be with us. Might be divorced. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> he will be divorced or he will be worse. <laughs> oh, is it going to be like what are you going to go? I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a toast to Baz's last tour? <laughs> Baz's last tour, just, no, no, just in no, case. No, he's not, no, no, he's no, not no, touring no, it, he's no, not no, toasting no, it. I don't remember that. No. <laughs> No idea, no. Man. I'd like to think I'm in charge of our ass, Gary. I'm not daft enough to put my neck out that far. Mate, I'm not daft enough to say I'm in charge of my ass. Oh, you're okay, no. kid. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, yes. She yes. runs rings around the pair on them, she goes. Yeah. My little pony playing with toys and I'm having a great time with you. Adverts, come on. Granddad, I want one of them. Granddad, I want one of them. Granddad, I want one of them. Turn that telly off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, on that note, folks, we're going to end tonight's episode. Tonight's action-packed episode. I say thank you for watching. We're going to have a drink, boy. We'll see you next time. Thank you, folks.